Well, I wasn't sure you were going to make it. Neither were we. I haven't been in this part of town in years, and I wasn't too sure about your directions. Is anyone else from the university coming? Oh, no. No. No one else was interested in spending their Saturday afternoon exploring an old building. H.G. Glad you could join us. No, you couldn't keep me away. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. H.G., this is Roger Agar. He's one of my best students. Uh, and this is also a student of mine, Jeannie Franz. This is H.G. Lewis of our cinema department. Oh, uh, this is his assistant, Wayne Stewart, also. So what are the cinema department's interests here, Professor? Classics, my boy. Rare classics of film. Classics? I've never heard of any classics by the Dunbar brothers. Oh, good Lord, no, not the Dunbars. I was a teenage armadillo from outer space, to be more of their style. <laughs> right, Wayne? No, I don't know. I think the Dunbars made some of the best movies of that kind. And some of the biggest names of today got their start in those movies. I think you're being entirely too hard trash. on the Dunbar. Trash, all trash. Well, then, what are you here for, H.G.? Silas Dunbar never made a good film, but he knew one when he saw it. There are rumors that he had a huge collection of films starting in the early 20s and clear up into the, his death, the late 50s. If it's true, these films that have been lost for years might be sitting right here in his vault. I'm not gonna let him bulldoze this place down without even trying to find out if they're here. And what's this pretty young girl doing with her boyfriend on a fine spring day? The reason why we're here is I guess this building is also a rare classic. The way I understand it, it's one of the last remaining examples of early monolithic construction in the country. Not one of the last, the last. Jeremy Weller, Architecture History Magazine. I want to thank you for inviting me. It'd be a shame for them to tear down the building before I got some shots of the inside. It's a crime to destroy it in the first place. There's no stopping the great urban renewal machine once it gathers steam. At least this time we get a chance before the bulldozers arrive. We had to stop and get flashlight oh, batteries. It's all right. The woman from the city isn't even here yet. Catherine. Vincent. Uh, well, I guess you know everybody, don't you? Yes, I do. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you. This is Sam Arkoff, my assistant. Nice to meet you. Can I get the flashlight in the car? Sure. <laughs> Hill? Hasn't my cameraman arrived yet? Well, no. Isn't he coming with you? He was to meet me here at 10, and I... Well, that must be him. Who's she? The fourth estate. Sorry, I'm late. Well, that's all right, Mrs. Ackerman. We just got here ourselves. Blueprints, huh? Just how big is this place? Mm -hmm. Besides the studio, two floors and a basement. We haven't met yet, have we, Mr. Uh... Prescott, Dr. Arthur Prescott. I know this is the right set of keys. Why does a city employee have keys to this building? The city's owned it ever since it was condemned. Does everyone have a flashlight? Can't we wait a few minutes until my cameraman gets we here? We can't wait too much. Mike, where have you been? We've all been waiting for you. I'm sorry, I had to cover an armed robbery on the other side of town. I just lost all track of time. Angela. Ah, I think we'll start in the main studio. It's this way.
What a mausoleum. It hasn't been used in decades. Wonderful, isn't it? Mike, let's use this as the background. What was that? Probably rats. Rats? God, Roger, why'd you drag me down here today? Look, tagging along with a professor's got to be worth at least half a grade point. It'll give me an A. It might even pass you. So just be quiet and act interested, all right? Do you have enough light for me? Trust me, you'll be fine. Now, after my opening, I'll motion for Professor Hill to join me. It smells in here. It's just stale air. It could be residue from film processing chemicals. We used to do all that in-house here. It smells more like somebody died to me. Unfortunately, it's the building that's going to die. Within a year, this will just be another modern chrome and glass tombstone. Mike, can you hurry up? I don't want to be stuck in this dump all day. The right side. Ready? Three, two, one. This is Angela Markell, News 3, with the Midwest Historical Society, inside the soon-to-be-demolished Dunbar Film Studios. With me is Professor... Angela? This shit. Angela. Angela, just keep talking. I'm trying to find you.
Alright. You looked right at me. You started to move the way I called you, but you just looked at Angela, me. Angela, stop. <laughs> it's over now. You're all right. <laughs> what happened to the others? Must have gotten separated somehow. Does anyone have an idea where we are? Well, if I remember the blueprints correctly, we should be in the old production wing. What the hell happened back there? I don't know. Vagrants, street people, gangs, could be anybody. Is there any way out of here? I'm sure there is, but it isn't locked or boarded over. Well, what about the others? Who knows what happened to them? And what if those killers come after us? Run like hell. Well, how do you outrun a spear? Like to see you try that. Some... Hello? Hello? Help us, please. Somebody. Hello? Hey. Look at this. It's fresh. At least somebody's been here recently. Operator! Operator, help us! We're... I got someone! Tell them that we're in this building and we can't get out. Roger! Yeah. What the hell? Out! Mike, what happened in there? What's going on in here? I don't know, Angela. Something's really screwy here. Let's just get back to the other people, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you. Same here. Where are the others? Your guess is as good as mine. Roger, get me out of here now! Will you be quiet? Yeah, I'm with her. We've got to find a way out of here, but fast. Oh, what do you think we've been trying to do? Hey, guys, we're wasting time. Let's go. Ow! Oh, shit! It's all right. We'll look for another way out. All we found is these fucking boarded up windows. There has to be an exit somewhere, a back door. The loading dock? Something? We've seen nothing to indicate that they wouldn't be boarded up also. Well, maybe we'll find the others. <laughs> well, maybe somebody's already found them. What do you mean? Well, maybe they're dead. It's, it's all right. We'll find another way out. But it won't be through these windows. Let's go. What do we do now? This way. Did you see how those windows were boarded over? What? What do you mean? They were boarded over from inside. It's as though they were meant to keep people from getting out instead of in. Professor Lewis? The film boat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The return of DJ. And, uh, oh, Corman Gang? Biscayne Reef? Nord Seek's Big Break? See you next Wednesday. Arcos Outlaws. We hit the jackpot. <laughs> now that's a whole trash. Look what I found. Star is born, 1954. Complete. Complete. Napoleon, 1927. Oh my God. Complete. London. My God. What is it? London after midnight. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, you left on nitrate?
Let's hope not. Safety stock. Hold up your light. London after midnight. Yeah. Damn it. What's the matter? It's only part, part one. one. Well, H.G., we don't have time to look through all this. We gotta come back later. Why? We gotta, we gotta keep up with everybody else. Come on, let's go. We'll come back later. Hey, where are you going with that? <laughs> I'm Wait. taking it with me. No, 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 no. If you take that out of here, the, the archive people, they'll take that away from you. Oh. Well, let's let's come back later with a big truck, quietly. Don't tell anybody what we found. Just come back, get it all, take it back to our own basement. Okay. okay. Hide it. All right. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What is it? We'll go this way. These look like offices. This was the executive office area. Yeah, certainly seen better days. After midnight. after midnight. <laughs> what the hell did we walk into? Don't you mean where? More like when. Miss. Miss! Trust me, Walt. Stick with the rabbit. The mouse will never work. Excuse me. Whoa! What happened? Where did all the people go? Wherever they went, they took all the furniture with them. Professor Hill, what's going on here? I don't know exactly. Wayne, wasn't this from the early 60s? Uh, 1957, I think. Huh. 1957, 1958. There's nothing newer than 1960. In here! <laughs> I knew we'd find one on board the window in this place. Wait, look out the window. I don't see anything, just fog. That's just it. All there is out there is fog. So what? We know it's outside. Do we? I'm going out. Are you coming? But what if it's too far down? No, we haven't left the first floor. It can't be more than eight or ten feet. Shouldn't we check it out first? Why? It's just a fucking window. Jeez, what's the matter with you? Do you want to stay in this hell hole? All I'm oh, saying. All right, now let's just wait. Are oh, you wait? Where are you going? Smelled like some kind of acid. Oh, what about Wayne? My God, he's still out there. What the hell are you doing? But, what, what are you doing? That stuff nearly killed us. But Wayne's still out there. He couldn't last long in that stuff. Maybe he got through. Maybe. But there's nothing we can do for him now. Look, look we'll leave the shutters unlocked in case he tries to make his way back. Professor Hill. What? What's wrong? Mr. Prescott, what is it? Are you all right? Oh, it burns. Oh. I must have gotten a face full of that fog. Oh, I'll be okay. But your hands, they're all red. Oh, it must be from the fog. It'll burn. Can you see well enough to continue? I'll be okay. 
Yes, let's continue. Do you think Wayne could have made it? I don't know. If you move fast enough, maybe. Christ, I didn't even see that stuff come into the room. This place is like a maze. Everywhere you turn, there's another damned hall. It was designed on a square pattern. Each hall ends at the beginning of another. The designer of this place must be the same guy that works in all those carnival halls of mirrors. This one thing I've learned is that common sense is never a prerequisite for architecture. Judging by what we've seen, neither is good taste. On the blueprints at Sam... Are you and Sam close? He was a nice guy. We worked together for a couple years. Catherine Elliott. Mike Romero. What brings you here? Well, I'm with the city's redevelopment commission. You mean they're going to try and fix this place up? At one time. For some reason, it never happened. The blueprints that Sam hit, that we brought, show every little nook and cranny of this place. Well, we could sure use those now. We could use an Uzi and a grenade launcher or more. What is it? I don't know. I thought I saw something. God, no, not again. It may be the others. Wait here, I'll go see. Mike, don't leave me. Just wait here. Everything will be all right. I'm going with you. What if it's not the others? Then the odds are better for two of us. I'm pretty feisty for an architect. What if someone comes? We haven't seen anyone in this part of the building yet. See, the way I got it figured, those people that attacked us in the studio took off before the cops could come. Then what are the architect and the cameraman doing? Looking for shadows. We've got to get out of here. I've got to get back for the six o'clock news. <laughs> oh, <my God! sighs> what the hell happened here? This, uh, this thing from, from the mirror, it, uh, she just, uh, the thing from the mirror, I mean, it, it just reached out and grabbed her. What do you mean grabbed her? This, this hand-like thing. What thing? I, I don't know. It, it, it just, it, it came out, it was a hand, uh, but it only had three fingers. Mr. Weller, did you see what happened? Well, hey, come on, man, snap out of it. Whoa. Feel better? Yes. Yes, I think so. Did you see what happened? Yes. Yes, I did. I don't believe it. Is she going to be all right? No, I won't be all right! Look, I don't know what the fuck is going on around here, but we gotta get out of here right now. All right, all right, just calm down. If we panic, we'll be easy targets. What, what do you think we should do then? I think we should calm down and think about this. Are you okay? As good as could be expected, I guess. Catherine? Catherine? I knew I heard you. Oh my God. What happened here? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? I don't know. Maybe it was those crazies that attacked us. Was it them? No. I mean, I, I don't know. Why don't you know? Look, I wasn't here when it happened, all right? They tell me that someone or something came through that mirror and grabbed her. Someone's missing. What? Someone's missing. Is there anyone else with you? No. Uh, Wayne's. Where is he? He's dead. We don't know that. What else could have happened to him? 
You may have gotten out. Not through that stuff. All right, all right, save it. The important thing is now that we're all together, we find a way out of here. Just who put you in charge? Look, have you got a better plan? Anybody, speak up! Now, come on. my locker in high school. I kept forgetting my combination. <laughs> What do you think? Mike? What is it? Oh. I'm not sure. You're not upset about the change of command, are you? No. Anyway, I don't think I was cut out to be a general. killed us. Well, it seemed like a good it idea. It seemed like nothing. What the hell does a damn cameraman know about this building? My grandfather designed it. I've, I've been studying it for years. If anyone knows anything about this place, it's me. So let us right back where we started. All right, let's keep on moving. Just where the hell are we going? We're going down to the main entrance. We should be able to get out the front doors.
real. Did you find anything? Just these papers, and I can't even make those out. That must be where he jumped from. Is that the crazy that attacked us? Maybe. But he's not responsible for what happened to Angela. If I didn't know better... What are you thinking, Mike? I don't know, it just... It seems like we've been cut loose in time. That's ridiculous. I know. It, it just seems like nothing exists except the fog and the building and what's in the building. But what's in the building doesn't belong. I mean, look at it. It looks like he's been staggering around here for years, but that's not possible. You're, you're nuts. All this strain must be making you crack. Maybe. Nasty weapon. From the look in his eyes, you are next. What about Jeremy? It's too late for him. We've got to think about ourselves. place is an anachronism. What happened to all the people here? I doubt they ever existed. was that thing? Looked like an oversized cockroach. I'll bet this place is full of them. Great. It's not enough with everything else in here. We gotta deal with metamorphic killer cockroaches. Which is why it's so imperative that we know where we're going. What do you mean? I mean, we need a plan of action. We can't just wander around like this. If that crazy doesn't get us, the fucking bugs will. He's got a point. What have you got in mind? <laughs> How many floors did you say there were to this place? Two in a basement. When we were in the elevator service room, I looked down the elevator shaft, and I saw five floors. Well, that can't be. This building no, no, only has... No, those are the sub-levels. Sub-levels? What sub-levels? They weren't indicated on the blueprints. There was no need to. They were designed to service a subway system. You mean there's a subway under here? Uh, no, it was never finished. Construction was abandoned after less than a year. Then what's behind those two lower doors? Probably nothing. The tunnels were filled in once the project was scrapped. Are you sure? There was never any talk of anything below the basement. That doesn't mean the tunnels don't exist. Look, let's go downstairs and see if we can't find an entrance to those levels. If the tunnels do exist, they may lead us under the fog. Maybe even to the other side. If there's an exit, a tunnel, or even another side to the fog... We don't have a hell of a lot to lose. Oh, you said that before. 
And I still mean it. They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Come on. There's got to be a basement entrance around here somewhere. Mike, here! It's locked. Can't we break it down? Ah, oh, this thing's solid steel. There's stairs going down behind this. Any other way to the basement? No, only this and the elevator. Elevator. We climb down. Get me something to pry these doors open with. Hey, how's this? Where's Roger and Jeannie? I don't remember them coming downstairs with us. Oh, fine. You keep working on the doors. I'll go look for them. I'll go with you. Well, I'm no use here. Besides, you could use an extra set of eyes. Why did you drag me with you today? We could have gone to the movies like we planned, but no, you had to brown nose your professor. I'm sick and tired of hearing about this movie shit. Hell, might as well have my dad buy this place and tear the damn thing down. Killing me. Break. Yes. Mike, why do you suppose they ran off? I mean, Jeannie was scared to death. Don't you recognize that kid? That is young Roger Agar, who is probably very used to getting his own way. Agar, of course. Agar in Temple Industries. I didn't connect it. He's panicking. I used to see a lot of that when I was on assignment in the Mideast. What were you doing in the Mideast? Just shooting the news, trying to keep my ass in one piece. <laughs> anyway, Roger's just a scared kid. He wants to take his toys and go home. Oh, you think Jeannie's one of his toys? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know, maybe she smells money. She follows him around like a puppy. Now, wait just a second. I've been following you. No, well, you're no puppy. And I don't have any money. Tell you what. We get out of this and I'll buy you dinner. Done. Lost. No, we're not. Just a little further. Let's go back and find the others. Come on. What is it? There was another bug. Will you forget the damn bugs? Junk. Looks like more of that film shit. Let's go. Come on. I told you they didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I don't see any fog.
just have the feeling someone's watching us. I could have sworn this is the room it went into. Me too. Well, I'll be damned. I don't know where it could... What the hell could have done this? Roger. It's Jeannie's. Where's Jeannie? I don't know. This looks like only one person. Oh, Mike, his head. Where's his head? but they sure weren't very well put together. Ooh, they don't smell so hot either. Let's get a little light on the subject. Are you people? Well, we just... Uh, we just sort of got lost in here. It's a long story. Great. Bad enough I have to chase a purse snatcher in this rat trap. I run across two loonies. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. You just ran in here? What about the fog? What fog? It's the middle of summer. Just what the hell are you people doing in here anyway? Just trying to get out. Alive. Well, Mike, you're hurt. What? Oh, that's nothing. Here. Hold up. Yeah. Tie it tight. Do you know those people back there? No, no, not at all. Probably just more drugged up hippies. This convention duty's a real pain in the ass. The riots got everyone working overtime. Riots? At the convention. You have been out of town or something? What convention is this? Jeez, the Democratic National Convention. Hey, live with me. Are you people high or what? I swear the whole fucking country's going nuts. I just hope Nixon wins. He'll clean up this crap and get the country on the right track. Roger and Jeannie. Dead. We would 
be too if he hadn't stepped in. Can you get us out of here? What's the big deal? Quit messing with the elevators and just walk out. Well, what about the fog? What fog? It's a nice day out. You people are on something, aren't you? No, we just want to get out of here. So get moving. Hell, let's just break a window and drop to the street. Officer, my God, wait a second. Now wait. Oh, come on, look, little lady. Let's just quit messing around. Get the hell out of here. Wait, hold it, what? hold it. Hey, 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 hey. Officer, I'm sorry, but I can't let you open that window. Why the hell not? Officer, we've all experienced the fog. It killed one of us. I've been burned by it. You just keep talking about this fog. What fog? All right, let me sh get over here. Let's open the window just a little bit. I'll stick this out and show him. Cover your face, your eyes. Set. One, two, three. <laughs> Shit. That stuff wasn't out there when you came in. No. All right, look, somebody better fill me in on what the hell's going on around here. Later. Right now, we've got to get those elevator doors open. Look, we think there may be tunnels underneath the building that lead under the fog. The only thing we know for sure is that can't be any worse than what we found up here. There should be an emergency latch on the upper left side. Slide it up and the door should open. I got it. Okay, who's next? I'll go. We might need these. Doesn't look like anybody's been down here for a while. Uh, Professor Hill? Care, care, what's wrong? I feel faint. Oh, my God, she's exhausted. She's not the only one. We could use a little rest. We, we all need one. All right, just a few minutes. Those things could still track us down here. All right, it looks safe enough. Okay, it looks like a vault. I think we'll be safe in here. I think we should post a guard just in case. I'll do it. I'm not tired. Besides, I'm too confused after all the crap you've been handing me already. All right, 30 minutes, no more, no less. And then they came out of nowhere. They were all dressed alike. They're certainly not hippies. This is strange material. And green blood yet. Christ, where do these creatures come from? Boy, aren't we a pair? We look like Mr. Spock threw up on us. Sometimes I think you take things too lightly. Honey, I have to. If I didn't, I'd go nuts. Need to do that in your kind of work? All the time. You know, it's funny, that's one of the reasons I moved back here. To get away from that kind of thing. Jesus, if I wanted this kind of excitement, I could go to Lebanon or Nicaragua. I could even move back to New York. Great Scott, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to even think about it. It's okay. You're going to be all right. No, we're not. We're all going to die. No, you're not. You think those old subway tunnels still exist? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I mean, none of this, nothing we've seen. 
should exist. You know, I've never tell him this. And I'm beginning to think Mike might be right. We, we seem to be caught in some kind of distortion of time. That sounds like one of Wayne's stupid science fiction movies. Wayne, I can't get him out of my head. He'd still be alive if I hadn't brought him. Everyone would be if I had dragged them here. Grandstanding professor trying to get himself on television. That's a very real possibility. Well, whoever it was is gone now. I think we should be, too. We've all had enough. You were supposed to wake us after 30 minutes. So? It's only been 10 minutes. Like hell, it's been over two hours. Oh, get out of here. It's running fine. It's only 10.15. I've got 4.30. 7.28. How about 1.20? It must have been a magnetic disturbance of some kind. That wouldn't affect a digital watch, would it? This is weird. This is too weird. Shit, I've been walking this beat for years, and I ain't never even heard of the Dunbar Brothers' place. Everybody's watches are screwed up. I ain't never even seen a watch like that before. Look, I want some explanations about the shit that's been going down around here. You don't have any explanations. All we have are guesses. Can you give me today's date? The date? It's the 26th of August. What year? What do you mean, what year? It's 1968. Well, well, that explains Nixon. What do you mean by that? Somebody better explain what the hell's going on here. Officer, what city are we in? Chicago. What the hell is going on here? Where are you people from anyway? About 600 miles and 18 years away. What the hell are you people talking about? Look, it's all just guesswork. We really don't know anything more than you do. But the one thing I do know is that we've got to get out of here. Officer? some explaining to do. Dr. Hill, where do you think those sub-level entrances should be? Well, there should be a construction entry at the other end of the building. They probably filled it up years ago, though. There's only one way to find out for sure. Let's go. Elevator shaft to the next level. If they filled those in, we'd be met by tons of rock when we opened the doors. E even if they were clear, I'm sure they must have welded those elevator doors shut years ago.
after midnight. Part two! Ha! Check. Not alone, you won't. Look, just give me 30 seconds. I'll give you five seconds to shut up. Let's go. Everybody, just stay put. Catherine. Just stay here. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. It's okay. Everything's all right. We're lost here just like you are. We... who? It's my friends and I. Is she okay? I think so. Who is she? She's okay. It's okay. He's a police officer. See? Thank God, thank God I found you. Tell me you were searching for someone in here. I didn't know we were. Why did you go? I've been lost in here for hours. Where's Mark and Linda? Mark's dead. I dead. don't know about Linda. I took this from him after he attacked us. You mean you knew that crazy man? I, I didn't recognize him at first. Not till he was dead. Will someone please tell me what the fuck is going on here? I'll tell you what I know. Mike's guessed most of it. Not about her, I haven't. Where does she fit into this? Fifteen years ago, Mary and I, along with another couple, Mark and Linda, were vacationing in England. Uh, wait a minute. What the hell does this have to do with anything we're going through? Quiet. Let him finish. We were exploring an old castle that the locals had said was haunted. I left my camera in the car and went back to get it. Just as I got outside, a strange noise filled the air. The same noise we heard in the studio upstairs. The entire castle vanished, just for a moment, and slowly reappeared. I ran back inside, but the building was empty. But why is she here now? After her disappearance, I began studying reports of similar occurrences. I found a pattern, a traceable pattern. And I knew what was going to happen to this building today. You mean you let us come in here knowing that some of us might die? I swear, I didn't know anything about the fog or the creatures or anything else in here. All I knew was that the time shift of the castle would intersect today with the time shift of this building. Sounds like some sort of Bermuda Triangle thing. Yes, the same phenomenon, just a different place. Arthur, what about the other things in here? I, I don't really know. I imagine that they've been caught in time shifts like we have. Conceivably, they could be from anywhere, any time, any world. Arthur, you wouldn't have come in here unless you thought you could get her back out. The time shifts have occurred in but a split second of time in our world. When that second is up, 
this building, like the castle, will return to its proper location and place and time. All right, but how do we get out? I believe that if we are near an exit when the building stops, we can escape before it sweeps its inhabitants into another shift. But wait a minute. Why does she think it's only been a couple of hours when that crazy man, Mark, he looked like he'd been through years of hell? I may be the cause of that. I think I represent a physical link between the two shifts, Mary's and ours. I must have thrown the whole thing out of whack, causing random time shifts to sweep throughout the building. We've been encountered some of them. So did Mark, with very destructive results. Why the hell didn't you say something earlier when we could have... Would you believe me then? I'm not sure I believe you now. It doesn't matter what we believe. It's our only hope. I don't understand. We've got plenty of time to understand. Right now, we need to find HG and find those tunnels. Damned HG. Why would he take off by himself in a place like this? Well, maybe he's still behind us. Maybe we should wait for him to catch up. That's worth a try. Let's give him five minutes. And if he doesn't show up, what then? Then we move on. I mean, we keep an eye out for him, but we move on. I don't see what else we can do. All right. That's as good as it gets. Boy, there's a couple with a lot of catching up to do. Would be strange, wouldn't it? Hey! Hey! Hey, buddy! I don't like the looks of this. Would he run into this mess? God, it stinks up here. I've smelled that before. Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> Nothing could get through that. Nothing. Let's not wait to find out.
I'm sure this is it. It's got to be. The electrical boxes, the pipes, they use the emergency exit as a utility conduit. It should run the entire length of the subway tunnel. <laughs> and up to the surface? Yes, up to the surface. On the other side of this, there should be a staircase that leads directly up. Jesus! Uh, uh, they're really nailed it in here. Uh, whoever put these in obviously didn't want us to get out this way. wall come from. All right, back the other way. sick of this. You know where we're going or don't you? What the hell you want from me? You think I knew about that back there? Because if you don't from now on, you're going to listen to me. Over here! Which way? What difference does it make? Another dead end could make a lot of difference. I'll check in here. Any sign of him yet? No, not yet. It's a dead end. Mine too. What do we do now? Here they come! Oh. Fucking ridiculous. We're running out of doors. Bring us something up here to block this door. What difference does it make? We're all dead anyway. Oh, no. It's not over until the fat lady sings. Oh, no. oh, oh, I wonder when they start using those things. Come on with that thing. Wait a minute. A minute's about all we've got. I think I found a way out. Move that thing back. What? Why? Just move it back. Wait, everybody. After you. 
You're in charge. Lead the way. Determined little bastards, aren't they? Downtown subway project. ASAC Newson architect. Tentative completion May 1929. Sack Newson, I know that name. <laughs> I should think you would. Every architect in this area should know that name. He built half this city. Of course, most of it's torn down now, but not for him. This would just be another forgotten cow town. Professor Hill, they are. Oh. He was uh, my great grandfather, you know, on my mother's side. Sack Hungarian. This whole city were immigrants in those days. Uneducated, illiterate. Smart enough to know they, they wanted more than they had. Not afraid to work for it. Hill. You know something about a way out, don't you? From here. The tunnels. They should have been filled in years ago. That subway was my grandfather's dream. It turned out to be a nightmare. This is where he died, you know. Down here. So that's why the tunnels were never completed. In a way. He and several of his workers disappeared down here. All the workers were immigrants too, so the story started. Curses, all that old world nonsense. God, maybe it wasn't nonsense. Anyway, the whole project died with my grandfather. Companions have already met their fate with a creature that must have been sent from the very bowels of hell by Satan himself. I have returned to seek sanctuary here in the queue because my condition prevents me from going any further. Please tell my wife that I love her. Signed, Arnie Sacknesson, September 22nd, 1928. The Indians said that spirits walked this land. My grandfather's workers said it was cursed. They're, they're both right. Q. What do you suppose he meant by Q? Q. Quez drove. It's Hungarian for refuge, safe place. The tunnel should. There should be several along the tunnel. All will be safe like this one. And eventually, 
lead you to the surface. Look for them. They'll get you out. But you're coming with us. No. I'm tired. How do you know it's not just going to lead to another one of those being nests? I think we can trust Saknussen's symbols. I wonder if he experienced the same things we have. I think Saknussen and his men survived this building's last time shift for quite a while. Of course. The boarded doors, the blocked windows. They fought as long as they could. Then they hid out in the subterranean systems that they built. Until they died, just like we're going to. They didn't know about the time shifts. We do. Wait a minute. Do you feel that? Feel what? Air. Maybe that is our way out. Thank you. 